What's going on guys, this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can install Arch Linux in a virtual box and run it as a virtual machine in your Windows 11 computer. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, then thank you so much. So guys, first of all, we have to download and install virtual box manager application on our Windows 11 computer. Then we have to download the Arch Linux ISO file. I had already installed VirtualBox Manager on my computer and here you can see I have couple of virtual machines on my computer. And I had also downloaded the Arch Linux ISO file. Now let me guide you from where you can download all of this application and ISO files. So open up any of your browser, then search on Google VirtualBox. Then go to this first website virtualbox.org. Then click on download. And from here, download the VirtualBox Manager application. Also, you have to download the VirtualBox extension pack. You have already seen that I had installed the VirtualBox Manager application on my computer. Now take another tab and search for Arch Linux. Go to this first website, archlinux.org. Then click on download. Then scroll down. And from all of the server list, select your nearest server location and click on that link and it will start downloading the Arch Linux ISO file which I had already downloaded and here is in my download folder. Now let me guide you how you can install the Arch Linux on a virtual box. Now first of all, click on new, name it as Arch Linux. Then click on ISO image, go to other and select the Arch Linux ISO file. Now click on hardware, give your desired RAM size. Here I'm going to give 4096 for GB RAM and two CPU cores. Then go to hard disk and give disk size for a virtual machine. Here I'm going to give 80 GB. Then click on finish. I'm going to increase the video memory to 256 MB. Also, I'm going to click on settings, then network, and change the network adapter to page adapter. Okay. Now, after doing everything, just click on start. Here you can see the virtual machine is powering up. And this is the boot menu of Arch Linux. Now from this list, select Arch Linux install medium and press enter. And now here you can see our virtual machine is booting from the ISO file of the Arch Linux. And here we get a terminal. Now here into type Arch install. Then press enter. And it's going to start the Arch installer. It's going to take some time, so you have to wait. And here is the Arch installer. First, select the Arch installer and press enter. Then from this list, you can select your language. I'm going to keep it English. Then go to the second option, locals. And from here, you have to select your keyboard layout. I'm good with the default. Then go to mirror and repository. Then press enter on select regions. And from here, select your region. I'm going to select Bangladesh. Also, again, I'm going to press select region and select another region. Let's say Denmark. Then select back and press enter. Then select this configuration and press enter. Select the partitioning. Then select use the best effort default partition layout. Select your virtual box disk. Press space key. Then press enter. Then select the file system ext4 and press enter. Then select no and press enter. Then go back. I am not going to enable the disk inscription. So I am going to select swap. Here you can see swap is enabled by default. So I am working with it. Now select bootloader. And select the group bootloader. Then select post name. And give here a name. Here I am going to type. VB Arch, 
then press enter. Then if you want to add root account, select the root password or just skip to the user account. Then select add user. Here you need to type your username. Then press enter. Then type the password. Then press enter. Then type the password again to confirm. Then press enter. And then you have to add the user to super user, select yes and enter. Then select confirm and exit and press enter. Now go to profile, select the type and from this profile select desktop. Then press enter. Then from this list you have to select the desktop environment. I'm going to select no. Then press enter, then go back. Select audio and press enter. There I will select pipeware. Keep the kernel Linux. Go to network configuration. Then select the copy ISO network configuration to installation. If you want to add additional package, press enter. Then from this, you have to add the package, whatever you want to add in your Arch Linux. Here I'm going to search for git. So I'm going to press slash git. And from this list, I'm going to select git. Then go to time zone and select your time zone. Then go to install and press enter. Then yes and enter. And now your virtual machine hard drive will get formatted and install the Arch Linux. It's gonna take some time to get install the Arch Linux on the virtual machine hard drive. So just sit back and relax. Okay guys, so installation has been done. Now select no and press enter. Now you have to reboot your virtual machine. So type here sudo reboot. And now your Arch Linux virtual machine will reboot. Now from the Arch Linux go to setting. Then storage. And from here remove this ISO file. Then press OK. Now start your Arch Linux virtual machine again. And now this time your virtual machine should boot from your virtual hard drive. Select Arch Linux and press enter. And now our virtual machine is booting into Arch Linux. Here you can see. Now log in to your user account. And guys, here you can see the Arch Linux install with the GNOME desktop. If I go to setting, then scroll down and go to system, then about. And here you can see the operating system Arch Linux. Now right click on your desktop, go to display setting. And from here, select the resolution. Here I am going to select full HD. Then click on apply and keep changes. So guys, like this, you can easily install Arch Linux in VirtualBox and run it in your Windows 11 computer as a virtual machine. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoyed this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you're new to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching Hashtag Tutorial, and I'm signing out.